In this video, I'll be working through the question you can see on the screen from the Cambridge A-Level Maths Paper 1. Specifically, it's Paper 1-1 from the Winter Exams in 2023. If you're looking for a different question from this paper, there should be a link to a playlist with all the questions below this video. I'm doing this on a whiteboard. Hopefully, it'll be like you're used to your teacher doing. And if you do find this or any of my other videos useful, I'd greatly appreciate it if you like, subscribe, or even share it with a friend that's doing the exam this year or next. Uh, question 10 is all about a curve uh, that they tell us has a stationary point 2 minus 10 and its second derivative is 6x. So we're going to be using uh, integration and differentiation throughout this question. Uh, four parts it asks us. Part A it simply asks us to find the first derivative. So this is the second derivative, find the first derivative. Just remember to go backwards through derivatives, uh, we just um, use the integration. So if we integrate this, we should find dy dx. So d uh, let me write that out actually this time. dy dx is equal to the integral of, um, yeah, let me write it all out. You don't usually see this written out like this, but uh, equals that. But that also equals we'll put 6x in dx and that equals simply integrate this and uh, the x becomes x squared and then we end up dividing by the 2 and then uh, we add a constant um, I think we're going to have yeah we're going to have a couple of constants so let me just write c1 in this case uh, clean that up we get a 3x squared plus a c1 that's we we're sort of finished there you might get stuck there uh, but they didn't ask for a constant, they just wanted dy dx. They didn't say you're allowed to have c in your answer or anything like that. So we need to find what c1 is. So what other clues are there? This is a clue here, the stationary point. Stationary point does tell us something about dy dx. dy dx is equal to zero at the stationary point. So let me write that here. Uh, dy dx at x equals... 2, 2 in this case, at x equals 2, that equals 0. So we can do that over here, and this equals 3 times uh, 2 squared, remember x is equal to 2 now in this world, uh, plus c1, um, 2 squared is 4, 4 times 3 is 12, move it over, we end up with c1 is equal to minus 12. Still not quite finished, they still want to see all of this put together dy dx is equal to 3x squared minus 12. That's, uh, that's your full marks for part A. Part B of this question asks us to uh, find the equation of the curve. The curve that has the second derivative of this, the first derivative of this. So we basically we want to find y. That's what that means, find the equation of curve, y equals. So just again, we go in, we integrate this one. I won't write it out as long as I did last time. We integrate dy dx. So this is equal to the integral of 3x squared minus 12 with respect to dx. That equals, let's see, x squared becomes x cubed and we end up dividing by the three. But there's a three here already. Three divided by three cancels. Uh, minus 12 becomes minus 12x and a constant appears. Again, yeah, we've used C1, uh, so let's use C2. And, but that's not, just like last part, that's not finished. They don't want C left there, you need to fill in C. So we need a bit of information about this curve. Again, we go to the stationary point. This, um, it was a stationary point which gave us information for dy dx, but it's, it's a point, it's on the curve. That's all we need for this part. It's any point on the curve would help us get here. This is on the curve. Y will equal minus 10 at some stage. And when Y equals minus 10, X does equal 2. Um, X equals 2 here as well, plus C2. So all numbers, we just rearrange it. We just multiply these out. That's 8, turns into minus 8. Uh, it's minus 24, turns into plus 24, uh, which all turns out to 6. Let me just check that on my notes. Uh, yeah, all turns out to 6. So again, you're not quite finished, although you should get all the marks for that, I'd say. Uh, they did want to write this equation, so you, you need to write it again. y is equal x cubed minus 12x 
plus 6. That's, uh, that's part B answered. Okay, so for part C, they ask us to find the uh, find the other stationary point. They already gave us one stationary point. Find the other one. Oh, and determine its nature. So stationary points, dy dx equals zero. That's what we should be thinking when we hear stationary points. So let's solve this. 3x squared minus 12 equals zero. That becomes 3x squared equals 12. That becomes x squared equals 4. x is equal to plus or minus 2. But we already knew 2. 2 uh, was here, so it's, it's x equals minus 2 we're interested in. Um, so we're going to deal with x equals minus 2 here. And we just need to find y to get the stationary point. You're not finished here. They, you found x for the next state. Let's write it in here, minus 2 something. You need to find that y. So, but we have y equals over here. So y is equal, when x equals minus two is uh, minus eight, minus two cubed. Uh, minus 12 times minus two is plus 24, plus six, and all of that equals 22. So there's your, an well, sorry, that's not your finished answer for part C. They wanted you to determine its nature. I'm gonna do that two different ways. Uh, First way is not the way I would advise you to do it, but it's a perfectly okay way. Uh, we should know enough about cubic functions, sorry, this one here, cubic functions, to know what they look like. When x is a big positive number, like think a million, a million cubed is really big. And when x is a really small number, minus a million, minus a million by minus a million by minus a million is a minus, and really big, so it's somewhere down here. And then um, cubic functions either look like this, or sometimes they look like this, but that's not the case here. There's, there is, two, sometimes they have a stationary point like this, but in this case they have two distinct stationary points. So we know it looks like this. A positive cubic looks like this, and that means we can just use the fact that, well, minus two, minus two is less than plus two. This must be plus, this must be two minus 10. And this guy here must be minus two, 22. So that's an answer. You could, so I know that this second point here is a maximum. So that would answer part C, except the examiner is not looking for that. So, so don't do that. Uh, just what the examiner really is looking for is the second derivative the second derivative at whatever point you're t interested in. We're interested in minus two here. X is equal minus two. Well, the second derivative is just equal six times minus two, which is equal to minus 12. Minus 12 is less than zero. Well, let's write that in even. Minus 12 is less than zero, therefore maximum. That's what they're looking for there. But honestly, this, is the set. this does answer it, but you would have to write a bit of English to explain what you were talking about here. Okay, let me clean this off and we'll do D. Okay, in part D, they ask us to find the equation of the tangent to the curve at the point where the curve crosses the y-axis. I, should I shouldn't have rubbed out this picture here. So the point where it crosses the y-axis, uh, let's see, we had minus two, 22 here and we have 2 minus 10 here so 0 the y-axis must be about here and uh, the number must be oh I've rubbed out uh, I've rubbed out too much information there we had y is equal to bear with me a moment x cubed minus 12x plus 6. So yeah, we sorry, we know this point here then is 0, 6. The y-intercept. This If we put 0 in everywhere here, we're just left with 6. y equals uh, 6. Okay, so we know the y-intercept part. So what they're looking for is the, the, the tangent here. Tangent here. So we actually, we know the point, 0, 6. So what we're really looking for is the, the slope. And again, I've rubbed out too much information. dy dx is equal to 
3, yeah, 3x three squared minus 12. So uh, we need to know the slope of this. The dy dx will tell us that. Uh, dy dx at x equals 0 is equal to minus 12. So the slope is minus 12 here. And we have a point. You can use whatever you want. You can use a... Uh, the equation, the what's it? Y minus y one is equal to m x minus x one. You can use this equation, or the way I rather do it is y is equal to m x plus c. Fill in everything you know, and and solve for what you don't. You don't know. You, we know x. We know an x and y. We know m. We don't know c. So let's fill in everything else. We get six is equal to minus twelve times zero plus c. So that means that's gone, c is equal to six. So we just write it out again, y is equal to minus 12x plus six. That's, uh, that's the equation of this tangent here, it has a y-intercept six and it has a slope going down. Yeah, that's, that's the answer to part d. And that's uh, actually the answer to all of question 10. And uh, thanks for watching and have a great day.